TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently, we have a little bit of a mixed bag out here. You've got the Dow up 81, New York Stock Exchange up 34. Otherwise, all the other U.S. indices trading to the downside. The S&P's off 19, NASDAQ 100, 210, Russell's off 21, semis down 32, transports are down 23. Gold's up $9, silver up 9 cents, lights we crude up a buck 24, headed to higher ground out there. But let's go spend a little time with our our indice charts as we do during that 2 p.m. update. We'll begin by taking a look at the Dow, which has made a new all-time high today and happens to become bar number nine of a TD9 count. Now, the last high that was formed out here in the Dow was on bar number eight of the TD9 count. So that says we have a valid TD9 count that will take place today. The question is, is it today's high or is it tomorrow's high? Because there can be a higher high and the bar following bar number nine and still be a valid pattern. But that would be the topping signal. That's the only one that's in play right now that I see for the Dow Jones Industrials. In the case of the S&P 500, it has its top. It was a uh, sell the D point pattern that was on this uh, bearish engulfing candle. It's got letter G up uh, top above that. That no longer is a topping signal out here because there was an intraday higher high. But it does have that sell the D point butterfly sell pattern out there. The NDX 100 still has its roads momentum indicator top from November 22nd. So you've got a top there. The Russell 2000 has a sell the D point pattern. That was uh, where it's bar labeled number G out here, that shooting star candle pattern. So it's got the top. The uh, semis have a top. They've got two roads momentum indicator signals. Another one formed yesterday that was a key reversal bar, meaning the high and low of the prior session was extended seated and price closed one tick more than one tick lower in the opposite direction the downward direction so we know where the sellers are at they we've got the patterns that are out there um, and price and below its oscillator and chain line suggest a further retracement the transports have me somewhat confused out here i just don't see much in the way from a pattern standpoint so i just kind of stick away from it uh in the case of the spot volatilics it generated a td9 count bottom yesterday now i went back and explored all the td9 counts on the spot volatility index some were some don't so you know will this one work i don't know but it's not like other tv9 counts however what i will share with you is the last high inside the spot volatility index was with a tv9 count so maybe that's a signal that we should be paying attention to folks stay tuned david white is up next i'll see you tomorrow on terrific thursday have a wonderful wednesday